Welcome to my channel folks. Today I am going to show you how you can migrate data from unencrypted EBS volumes to encrypted EBS volumes. Quite often there are scenarios where your corporate policies or your compliance agencies or regulatory authorities will ensure or request you that all data has to be encrypted when it is stored on the server or it is at rest. So here I'm going to show you there is an EC2 server with one unencrypted volume and having a lot of data. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another encrypted volume and encrypt it using the Amazon KMS keys, master keys, and then migrate the data from the unencrypted volume to the encrypted volume. So let us get over to my dashboard. Here you can see that I have a production web server one running and it has two disks block devices that is XVDA1 and uh, SDB1. If I go to my volume section, you can see here there is a root volume of 8 GB in size and then there is an unencrypted volume of 1 GB in size. And you can see here at the encrypted column, both of them are saying not encrypted. So I'm going to head over to my server now in the putty console. Here, let me just do a df-h so that we can see that the unencrypted volume is available here. And you can see here the 10 GB volume has been mounted and it has about uh, 20 MB of data. Let us go ahead and see how many files are there. LSFNL. I'm just going to give a quick count. There are approximately 500 files and if I can list the top 10 files here, you can see here there are file number 001 and it goes all the way to 502, something like that. And these are all created by the application and these are all binary files. So how do I know that? If I just go ahead and do this, I know that these are all binary files. So now I need to move this data to an encrypted volume. So for that, I will first need to attach an additional volume of the same size. As of now, you can see here, there are only two disks in my server. That is one is the 10 8 GB root disk and then the 1 GB additional disk my application is using, which is mounted as an unencrypted volume. So let us go ahead and create an EBS volume. So under your uh, EC2 dashboard, if you go to your volume section, you can create volume and I've just kept it ready here. When you click on create volume, these are all the things that you will get. The most important thing is uh, uh, the size. I have mentioned that it is the same size as an existing volume. And if you scroll down, you'll have the encryption option. If you just click on this box here, it will ask you what keys you want. I'm going to use the default AWS keys. In case if you have your own keys, you can use them as well. And I also made sure that I have tagging them as an encrypted secure volume. Let us go ahead and create it. So the next step is I'm going to attach it to my server now. So I'm just going to go over here, refresh my screen so that my new volume will be appear here. And it says that it is in available state. So let me just go ahead and attach it. And I should be able to find my server here. And I'm just going to leave it as it is and then click on attach. So let us go to my uh, putty terminal or a terminal window. So the device should be appearing now anytime now. You can see here it is appearing as XDBF. So let us go ahead and format it. So formatting it is, we give this command. So my device has been formatted. Now next is I'm going to mount it. First I'm creating the directory where I want to mount it. I'm going to call it as an encrypted secure volume. Now that mount point has been created, let us go ahead and mount it. And don't worry, I'm going to put all these commands in my uh, description in the video. So if I go ahead and uh, df-h, you can see here there is a one volume here that is an encrypted one, and then there is an encrypted volume here. So I'm just going to get inside my encrypted volume, and I'm going to use the rsync command. So the rsync command is going to copy all the files from my unencrypted volume here and to my encrypted volume here. So I'm just going to go ahead and press enter and you can see here it is really copied really fast. And if I go ahead and put a df-h and you can see here it is also consumed with the 20 MB of space. And if I do ls-l and give a count, we will see the 500 files copied. And in fact, if I go ahead and list it 
and I should be able to find the same 501 and all those things here. So that is how you move data from an unencrypted volume to an encrypted volume in EBS. And now you can go ahead and unmount the unencrypted volume that is the previous disk. I can just go ahead and do you mount and slash where and I should be able to unmount it. So you can see here in my root volume, only the encrypted volume is there and any application using the data can start accessing this data and process it. Thanks for watching. Happy learning.